Today we're going to take a look at the features of the brand new Photomatics Pro 5. Hi, I'm Klaus Hermann from Farbspielphoto.com. HDRsoft has released the long-awaited version 5 of their HDR software Photomatics Pro. And there is a number of new features for enthusiasts and professionals that can make your HDR post-processing a lot easier and more effective. In this video, I will review the new features and give you some information on how to use them in your HDR work. Now let's get started by taking a look at the list of the most notable new features. There is a new tone mapping algorithm and a new exposure fusion algorithm. The batch processing was updated to make it easier to use and more powerful. Automatic deghosting has been improved to give you more control. And when you process a single raw image, you can now also apply exposure fusion algorithms and Photomatics automatically tries to recover the highlight details. Now let's look at each of these features in a bit more detail. The contrast optimizer is a new tone mapping algorithm that is specifically tailored to produce more natural looking results. While the good old details enhancer lets you produce all kinds of weird looks, the contrast optimizer lets you create natural looks with far less settings. So it should be quite simple to create a natural looking HDR in just a few minutes. The new algorithm essentially has three main sliders that let you control the overall strength of the effect, the degree to which the tonal range is compressed and the funkiness of the look. Now, funkiness is not the official term used by HDRsoft, but you know what I mean. The second group of sliders gives you straightforward control over the white and black points, the contrast and the saturation. Now, this new algorithm seems to be a useful addition for all the people out there who want their images to have a more subtle look. I will cover the way the settings work and how they interact in more detail in a separate video so that you know exactly how to use the new algorithm. The second new algorithm is called Fusion Real Estate. It can be found in the Exposure Fusion Process category and it is specifically offered for real estate photographers. This group of photographers has to deal with a huge dynamic range when they photograph interiors with windows, but the photos need to have a natural look to depict the property as it is. The new exposure fusion algorithm is even simpler to use than the contrast optimizer. It has three sliders for highlights, shadows and local contrast. The highlights and shadow sliders let you brighten or darken the highlights and shadows independently, while the local contrast slider lets you add some punch and detail to your images. If you're using this new algorithm, your images will have none of the typical HDR artifacts. I will also cover the Fusion Real Estate algorithm and how to use it in a separate video. HDRsoft has also changed the appearance and the features of the badge mode. Now the badge mode has already been there in previous versions and it allows you to merge and tone map any number of exposure series automatically with pre-configured settings. In the new version, you have more direct access to tone mapping parameters, which makes it easier to configure a badge. More importantly though, you can now let Photomatics apply any number of settings to your batch of images. If you choose more than one preset under the option called custom settings or multiple presets, each of these presets is applied to each of your exposure series and produces a separate output image. Now this is a great new option that allows you to try out multiple settings on your images without having to sit in front of your computer all the time. Deghosting is a set of methods you can use to get rid of ghost images. These ghosts appear if there was movement in your source photos. And up until the current version of Photomatics, the automatic deghosting function gave you the option to use normal or high detection mode. It was not interactive and you had to try both methods to get the best results. Version 5 now lets you only choose whether you want to apply deghosting or not when you import your images. If you tick the deghosting option, Photomatics will open the new deghosting window and give you more flexibility by letting you switch between selective and automatic mode. While the selective mode is essentially the same as before, the new automatic mode lets you choose the base photo, which will be used to fill the spots 
where ghosting is happening. And you also get an amount slider that lets you choose how much deghosting you need for that particular image. Overall, this is a very nice addition that will make your workflow for problematic images much more effective and efficient. When you import a single raw photo to create a pseudo HDR image, the new Photomatics Pro 5 has two new features for you. The first one is that you can now also apply exposure fusion algorithms to your image. In previous versions, you were taken straight to the tone mapping window and exposure fusion methods were not available to you. The second big improvement is that Photomatics now tries to recover all the highlight details in your raw images before it lets you work on the tone mapping. Previously, some of these details were simply lost in the process of converting the raw data inside of Photomatics. Now, apparently there have also been changes in the alignment algorithms that you can use to align images that were shot handheld. However, while the options in the pre-processing dialog have been renamed, I did not find any changes in the performance. My tests have actually shown that the alignment works equally well or bad in the new and in the previous version of Photomatics. HDRsoft states that the handheld alignment has been made more robust, but it remains to be seen what that actually means. Overall, I think HDRsoft has added some nice new functions and features to the new version of their industry-leading HDR software. However, when a software goes from version 4.2 to version 5.0, you generally have very high expectations. And to be honest, this one was rather a step to version 4.3 than to 5.0. There are still a few desperately needed things that are missing. An automatic or semi-automatic halo removal tool would have been a great addition. Removing this artifact is still a manual and very time-consuming process that you have to go through whenever your images leave Photomatics. An interactive noise removal tool is really overdue. Even in version 5 you get no feedback as to what 50, 60 or 80% noise removal actually means until you see the final image. A really powerful alignment tool for problematic exposure series is still missing. HDR soft could adopt the concept of control points that is widely used in panorama stitching software today. This would let users assist Photomatics in aligning their images perfectly. A better preview loop needs to be added. The loop that lets you magnify the parts of the image while you're working on the tone mapping settings has been of very limited use ever since it was introduced. It never depicted the actual image and it still doesn't. So there you go. This is my personal wish list for the next major version of Photomatics. And if you have anything to add to this list, feel free to add a comment below. That's it for this review of the new features in Photomatics Pro 5. If you've enjoyed it, if you found it useful and interesting, make sure you give me a thumbs up wherever you're watching this. To stay in touch, simply subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on any of the big social networks. I'm Klaus Hermann. Thanks for watching.